Hello everyone, Corpse here, bringing you another video tutorial. Today's video tutorial, we're going to talk about installing themes. I'm going to talk about if you get a theme from me, more than likely how you're going to get it. And I'm also going to show you how you would install the theme if you found it somewhere else and how it's more than likely going to be set up. Um, there are two different ways and their way is pretty confusing. So I'm going to try keeping this as brief as I can, but also go through this pretty quickly. So I'm, I'm going to skip a lot of jargon and just get right onto it. So if you download from me, if you find a theme on my test site and you say, hey, can you pack me up that theme? I'll tell you if it's been converted or not. If it's not converted and if you're willing to wait, then I'll get you the converted one. Uh, but there's going to be some things that are different between the original and the converted. Um, mostly where there was flash. Uh, I'm going to try keeping it so as close as to original. Or what I'm going to do is remove the flash altogether and replace it with something else. A lot of times they give us stock images that we can put in its place. But like navigations. Uh, I've been doing something a little bit different. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get on from there. So, uh, what you would do is you would get this basically packed up in a rare, and then you would extract it to your desktop, and you'll have a folder called themes. Uh, mind you, this is if you get, you're getting it from me. When you open it, you'll see two in here, uh, two folders. One going to be called originals, one called public underscore HTML. The originals are there, so you have the originals. These are the ones that are untouched, have the flash, have all the extra resources, everything. That It's how I got them. So uh, if you want to resort to those, you can. I'll get to those uh, in a couple minutes. But we're going to start with here. Basically, uh, what you're going to want to do is open up the public HTML folder, and you'll have one called themes in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into the root of your site. Basically, you'll know it's the root because you'll have a folder in there called admin, blocks, images, includes, and also you want to have it where you're going to see the main file.php, index, header.php, and all that fun stuff then what you're going to want to do is scroll down so you're not over any uh, folders while doing the editing I did notice that I did forget to mention for you guys that are new that you do want to make sure you're uploading everything in binary so if you're using FileZilla the way you would do that is go up to uh, transfer go down to transfer type and you'll see the option for auto which is should be on deep by default ASC2 or ASC II or binary just select binary um, and that's it very simple but you're over files and then just grab that themes folder and drag and drop over any file mind you as you can see I am using FileZilla and it is coming up saying that I do have Skeletor already installed. And that's fine. I'm going to keep it. I forgot to delete that theme as well. Uh, this, this inside here has two themes. And if we open up this, you'll see that there is a uh, Andromeda. Uh, I can't even speak right now. Sorry. I'm a little tired. Uh, Skeletor X and Andromeda. So we're going to... Uh, yeah, this one's made by Art of Gaming. So um, we're going to uh, install both of those, which Skeletor is already in. So I'm just going to go with Andromeda. One thing I do want to point out is if I did do modifications to it, if you open up the theme itself and go into the images, um, as long as you have like the image view, you'll see that the header is there. And more than likely, you'll see one called uh, in here, header, whatever. But you'll see that the file type is .fw.png. This means this is the Fireworks ping. So you can actually open this up if you have Fireworks. And I believe you could also do it in uh, Photoshop. You'll be able to open it up. You'll see my different layers inside here. Like the twinkle. Which is these little stars right there. But it's fully edible. Uh, not the eating edible. But editable edible <laughs> I can't even speak sorry but yeah you'll be able to open this up and you can just change the text to whatever you want as long as you have this font you'll be able to use this font uh, like this one right here is called Euro Steel um, 
So, I mean, I can also modify the theme. So if you like the look, you like the font, but you don't have that font, you don't have uh, the programs to do it, come talk to me. Um, normally, I don't do uh, graphic work for other people just because I've done it in the past. Uh, I actually sold my services for doing some graphic work. I, I always was straight up. I am not the greatest graphic artist. Um, as you can tell if you come to my main website. And uh, here I'll use another one. Uh, like the graphics here, I've done these. Um, so I'm not the greatest. Um, yeah, these sites have been a little slow for me today. Here, let me switch to... I, I've done these for them. I did not do this uh, animated. Um, the animated one I did is actually on this MG GS025 for I, them. This is actually a custom movie. Uh, this was a pain in the butt to do. And though I like the effect, there are some flaws in it that I see. But um, I took this theme and changed the coloring of it. Uh, did a background for it. Just changed the feel of it just by changing the color, the feel, the look. Um, so I don't even know it, what that looked like before. I said this is MG25. Here, let me t check my test site, see if I have it. So I'll pause right here and we'll go right to it. Okay, I did find it. Uh, so we're going to jump right to it. So this is what it looks like now. This is what it actually looked like before I got my hands on it. So as you can see, I mean, there are some... Like all this, I changed to silver in color. I sh opened the width of this um, quite a bit. Here, let me uh, minimize that so we can see. You can see this is what it looked like before, right here. And this is what it looks like now. So if you take your time, you can do a lot to a theme to make it personalized but you have to take that step um and for somebody to do it you have to understand like to do a theme like this um took me a couple of days to do and i mean it does cost a little money um i don't like to set prices so but these guys have been pretty good they uh they look at the work they're like hey i like it and they help they donate to my site and that's that's basically what i do so um if you're good with graphic arts and you're good at figuring out some CSS and basic HTML, you could do the same thing. You could do it yourself. It's not that hard. It's just time consuming. Um, and don't be afraid to mess up a little bit. So enough of that. Let's uh, skip right onto this and uh, let's get right to installing that theme. So we're going to come here. Um, but yeah, that's how you would edit those a lot of times. Then you would just come back to where you see the public HTML. Of course, you upload it, which we have already done. And now what we would do is we would go into the admin panel. And what you want to do is go into themes. For now, I'm just going to go to the admin nuke evo. We're going to come up here and look for themes. Don't mind all the junk in the back here. This, again, is my testing site. So I throw stuff up here to test it. If it breaks, it breaks. Uh, so most of the stuff I have on here is early beta versions, alpha versions, and things just don't work. So we scroll all the way down, and as you can see, I do have AOG underscore Andromeda uninstalled. So we're going to install it by just clicking on install. We come down here, we see we have all these options. Um, I, I've actually added in an extra option, link 5 which I did automatically go to search, but you can easily switch this if you get a roster or something, you can put it in there. And then we click install. Now we have that done, we can go to theme management. And let's go down, and this is called AOG Andromeda. So we're going to click on that, and let's go to the home page. As you can see, here it is installed. This is what it looks like. This is after I've worked on it. Um, here, let me go to uh, back to themes real quick. Let me open this in a new tab because uh, if we uh, 
Okay. That's not what I was looking for. I thought always at one time you could click on these to enlarge to see bigger, but I guess you can't. But uh, beforehand, there was a navigation that was right here at the bottom. And um, it, it, if I was to do that in CSS and HTML, it was going to take me a couple of days to make it a little bit faster. I created a, a very simple CSS navigation up here and it's locked up there. So no matter where you scroll, that navigation's always up top here. So, and it's fully functional and it does work off of uh, the controls within the themes. So, and it doesn't matter what page you're on, it's always there. So, uh, now we know how to install these. I mean, it's very simple to install these. Now let's look at how they would have you do it. Uh, so we're going to go back to themes and now we go to the originals. And of course I'm going to open up the uh, Andromeda. So we open it up and now this is where it gets a little confusing. You would click on this and you'll see the resources. This is where you would get the forum headers and the footers and the headers. Oh, that was another thing I did. I redid the whole footer section. They had like two tables at the bottom, didn't make sense to me. So I cleaned that up. So this is where normally you can get the blank files in the resources, if they give it to you. Then you'll see a folder in here called root. Yes, there's guides in here, but I'm just, I'm showing you how to do it. And then you'll see again, like the themes folder, but you would not upload this like I showed you how I pack it. The reason is, is if you click on themes, you'll see there's two folders called auto install and manual install. So basically what you want to do is select one of these two and we're going, to, I'll leave it as simple. Just go to manual install and now you see AOG. Now what you want to do is you want to open up, uh, basically on your route, you can sit there and just take this file. It would help. Let's just minimize that a little bit, drag this over a little bit. You could drag this and drop it into themes and it will upload. Or you can op open this, scroll down. Hopefully you have an index.html. I, I don't know where this file came from, but uh, you would just drag this and drop it over any file and it will put it inside there, overwriting what's already there. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upload this. We're going to overwrite the stuff that I've had on there before so you can see what the original looked, for, looked like before. So we come over to, uh, oh, I got to clear my browser. More tools, clear browsing data, clear. Before anybody says, yes, I know there is a, a shortcut, keyboard shortcut. But this is what Andromeda looked like. As you can see, the footer, to me, they have this footer right here. Then they have this one. Um, if you look on the sides, you can see that there's supposed to be a border, but then there's no border. It doesn't go all the way down, and it does this on both sides. The theme's broken. The way they designed it is broken. And I, I've always hated audio on these Flash. Back when Flash was big, I always cracked or de decrypted the uh, flash files and always stripped out the audio. I hated audio on the buttons. So, um, I mean, that's before. Let's uh, go over to here. Let's go back into... Do, do, do. Where's my filezilla? We're just going to take this Andromeda and drop it right over that. While that's uploading, we're going to clear browsing cache uh, data, just the cache. And now I'm going to click on home since I know that's done uploading. So here's the, the difference. You can see that there's a header here, but you'll notice that these shift over to the left and the right a little bit. Here you can see that the border is all the way there. It does go straight down. 
Now let's scroll to the bottom here. You can see they have this and this. Now it's just this one footer. This, and I left in the credits designed by Irv Gaming and I put it. But I can bind both footers into one footer. To me that looks a lot better. So you have to understand if you're getting a theme that's modified by me, I am going to change it slightly, but it still has the same feel. I mean, you look at the two, very similar. And if you don't like my changes, then use the original by all means and do the changes yourself. Um, don't expect me to really help you because it, to me, it's still a lot of try this. Did it work? Nope. Okay. What is going on? And keep doing that. So that's, I've never been a theme developer. But I know how to modify themes. I can modify themes. It just takes a little time. So that is basically how you would do it. So as you can see, that's how you install a theme on your site using either the originals or the modified that I give you. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. You can reach me over on Nuke Evolution Extremes website. You could also reach me on Lone Stars Modules site. And for a quicker response, my website, headshotdomain.net. I am on TeamSpeak. Feel free to come on. Just click the connect button, type in the name, click on connect. As long as you have the TeamSpeak 3 app installed, you will connect right to our TeamSpeak. And feel free to poke me by right clicking on my name and saying, hey, I need some help. Um, if I don't get right to you right away, give it a couple minutes. If I'm in the AFK room, it could be a couple minutes. It could be like an hour or so. But uh, I definitely do get back to people uh, as long as you provide me a way to get in touch. If you have a TeamSpeak, leave, send me a PM with your TeamSpeak information and the best time to uh, hop on. And I'll hop on. I'm willing to talk to you, help you out as best as I can. And if you find any of my work very helpful or uh, whatnot, you find my videos helpful, you like some of my scripts, you find in my downloads or that I've developed and whatnot, feel free to post on our forum saying thank you. And also, if you want to donate, our whole site, everything, our whole community is donation run. Uh, so... It goes to pay for our website and keeping our team speed going and basically it allows me to provide the support that I do. So, uh, yeah, you guys take care and uh, have a good one. Till next time.